Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a kind of, it's not negative, but I have a disappointing products video for you. So I'm going to talk about the products that didn't really work for me. I don't necessarily regret buying them, I don't necessarily think they're bad products, but for different reasons they just didn't work for me, my skin type, colouring, all that kind of stuff. So the first one I want to talk about is the uh, CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. Now, mine looks disgusting. First of all, this packaging is ridiculous. It gets so gross. Um, but I am in the colour 810 Classic Ivory. This is the lighter shade, and it's still too dark for me in winter. So, I just didn't find that this really worked for me. It was It's too dark for me in winter. The shade's not that great. And... I find that it looks really cakey on my skin. It is definitely full coverage, but you can definitely see it on your skin. It looks really cakey, and I'm just not really impressed with it, considering all of the hype that it got. The next thing is another product that has been hyped up majorly on YouTube, and I feel like I'm going to be murdered for mentioning this one. It is my Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. I just find that I don't reach for this. I don't really like the colours in it. I find that there are a lot of cool tone colours that I'm not really into. I don't really wear cool tone colours. And apart from tees, there's no matte kind of transition shade. So I just don't find myself reaching for it. I never travel with it. I just don't really like it. And it's not really something that I reach for. I don't regret purchasing it. I do like having it in my collection. I just found it a bit disappointing. Next up is this Essence Eyeshadow Quattro. This is in the column Denim 4.0. It has these four really nice shades. Everyone raves about Essence products and they are nice and they are really nicely pigmented, but I just don't find myself reaching for this quad. Like, um, they're so pigmented that they're a bit powdery and I just don't find myself reaching for it. One, probably because it's blue and that's my own fault for buying it in blue. But, I don't know, I just am really disappointed in the quads and because I have this one that I don't use, I tend to not gravitate towards the quads at the Essence stand or any of their limited edition quads because I don't use the one I already have, so why would I buy more? The next thing was hyped up on YouTube quite a while ago and I bought it um, because it was so hyped up, like most of these products, and I just found that I never use it. And it's the Physicians Formula um, Shimmer Strip Gel Eyeliners, I believe they're called. Yep. And these are the ones for brown eyes. It just looks like this. It was the little stack that you got. And this one has a brown, a purple, and a black. I don't use gel eyeliner very much. I don't really like it. I'm not really a fan of it. So that's partly why this didn't really work for me. Because I then found out that I don't really like gel eyeliner. I don't really use it. Um... So they are nice and creamy and I believe they are good gel eyeliners. I was just a bit disappointed in them and I don't find myself reaching for them in my collection. This next product, I don't... Oh, this is so controversial because of everything that's been going on at the moment. And it is a Lime Crime product. I won't buy from Lime Crime. I actually bought this when I was in at IMAX in Sydney in September and... None of this had happened, or at least we didn't know about it, um, as, like, the public didn't know about it. Um, so I never bought anything online from them. I only bought it at IMATS because they were there and it was convenient. And I bought the shade Babette, Babette, and it's, I thought it was just a really pretty nudie coral shade. I was like, this is super nice. I would definitely wear that. It's so my colour. I'd always heard the Lime Crown lipsticks hyped up so much. This formula is so thick and it settles into all of the lines in my lips. I never reach for this because while it's a pretty colour, it's so thick, it's so sticky and it's not flattering on my lips. I would reach for my CoverGirl or my BYS or my Essence lipsticks way before I reach for this one. I still have it because I bought it and you can see it's pretty much new. Um, and I did pay like a fair amount for it, so I don't want to get rid of it, but I just never wear it because of the formula. I cannot stand it. 
So, don't know what's up with that. And I, I heard that they reformulated their lipsticks and that many people didn't like them after they reformulated them. But I was just really unimpressed with all of the stuff I'd heard about them. So, we're going to hurry up and finish this video because I am losing my lighting. Um, the next product is something that is once again going to be a little bit controversial. Controversial? Con controversial? And that is MAC blushes. I have two here. This one is Peach Keen and this one is Ambering Rose. These are both sheer tone shimmer blushes and I love shimmer blush. It's not that I'm against um, shimmery blushes. I wear this one, which is Peach Keen, a lot more than Ambering Rose. And they're not bad products, don't get me wrong. I was just disappointed because people hype them up so much. Everyone talks about how amazing MAC blushes are, that they're a must, that you need to have them. You know when the YouTube community was all like, oh my god, you have to have the biggest MAC collection possible. Well, I bought these in that craze and I just find that, that I reach for my Astralis or my BYS or any of my other blushes just as much as I do these ones. So, And last but not least, sticking on the MAC trend, is MAC eyeshadows. I have a whole palette here. I did put this together myself. Um, some of them I bought in pan form and some of them I depotted. If you guys would like to see a video on what's in this palette, let me know in the comments below because I can do a video and swatches and all of that. But I just find that I don't reach for these. I'd rather reach for a whole palette like my Urban Decay Naked palette that we all know I love. It has similar shades, just a few less of these kind of like pinky shades. Um, and I just find that these aren't, some of them, the pigmentation is not that great. I find Makeup Geek shadows blend better than these. I find Urban Decay shadows blend better than these. I find the shadows in my Lorac, I just stabbed myself in the face with that. Um, I find the shadows in my Lorac Mega Pro blend better than these. So I just find that I don't reach for these. First of all, maybe the shades that I chose, and that's my own fault, I chose these shades. But I just find that they're not worth the... Why does that one keep falling out? Um, I just find that they're not worth the hype. Some of their shades I would recommend, but like I said, I think you can get comparable ones in Makeup Geek or things like that. They are all of the products in my disappointing products video. Let me know down in the comments below what products you guys have been disappointed in that you've bought. Let me know if any of the products I've shown have disappointed you. And subscribe somewhere around the screen. I would love to have you on board. And until then, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.